to be a testing day. This first session, of course, Ramiz, what, one and a half hours today. It is a holy day here. A little bit of swing for Glenn McGrath, the first ball of the second test match. An edge, and this time neatly taken by Shane Warren. So first black for the Australians here. Imran Nazir goes back to the pavilion, not disturbing the scorers. Now let's have a look at it. Pitches didn't do all that much. No, Adam Gilchrist just had a look at it. It was too far. Nonchalant take from Shane Warne. Good pair of hands. So that's a fabulous start by the Australians. Imran Nazir out for North. Pakistan, North for one. It's a no ball, so Pakistan off the mark. It wasn't all that far away from off stump either. And Bowled gone for not. So exactly both the openers falling without troubling the scorers as it happened in the first test match. Tafik Umar played on to Brett Lee. Pakistan in enormous trouble early on there. Brett Lee has been given the new ball and just angled away. He plays right outside that. Inside edge back onto the stumps. So Brett Lee gets a slice of the action. Bowling Umar for naught. And the total one for the loss of two. Got caught. Andy Bickler there. He's taken the catch this time. Glenn McGrath has struck again. And Pakistan are in dire straits. They're three down. Once again, pushing the ball away from his body. Not covering the line. Wasn't behind it. In the end, S1 straight to... Andy Bickle, and that's the third wicket. Yunus Khan walking back after scoring five runs. Pakistan, eight. Edged and got. Mark War has taken a catch. He took three good ones in the first test, put down three as well, and Bickle has struck, and he's got a smile a mile wide. A well, similar mistake from a Pakistani batsman once again. Poor footwork. I would say no footwork, none so ever. Just hanging is bad. Just kind of a slip practice for Mark Waugh. Andy Bickle joins the party, picking up his first wicket in this test match. And that's off Miss Ball Hart. He was only able to score two runs. Pakistan, 23 for four. Now they'll go up here, test umpire. And he's given it. Buckner gave the little nod, which is always the first indication you get. And once again, that ball pitching, I think it pitched in line, but it gave umpire Steve Buckner plenty of opportunity to see how much it was going to turn. Was the height OK? And he had judged in favour of the bowler. The famous slider from Shane Warne. When you're looking to defend, you've got to stay inside the line of the delivery as far as your leg is concerned. Look at that. Moving across the line, and then in the end, he was cramped. He was not offering short, and that ball would have gone and hit the middle stump. Wasn't a full stride. Easy decision for the umpire. Steve Buckner, trouble for Pakistan. Faisal Iqbal is back in the pavilion. The ball, four runs. This time out. Now that is a poor shot from Abdul Razak. He's just pulled four from the previous delivery. On that one, it was a shorter delivery. He pinned the ears back. He's been concentrating very, very hard. Now, I suppose he could determine that that was a bit of a loose delivery and he tried to hit it too hard. Well, whether it was a long hop or not, as a batsman, you should be able to control the stroke. That was a slider, pitch shot, and Abdul Razak was lick, looking to hit the ball very hard rather than placing it away from the fieldsman. In the end, it was nicely taken by Damien Martin. That's the wicket number six, 46 for six. Now that'll be close, and out. So Shane Warne picking up his third wicket. So Klein Mustak just tentatively coming forward with the pad. And the Australians were quick to go up into the air, so what a great over this is for Shane Warne. When you hit the pad of the batsman, on the full, you always have a chance to pick up the batsman. And the thing is, you've got to pitch the ball in the line. It was flighted up in the air, and Saklan Mushtaq missing that fuller delivery, although it's pitched just close to his foot. And once again, Saklan Mushtaq failing to get some runs against the Australian. 
No trouble for the scorers. Pakistan 47, 46 for 7. Fatnik, he's on his way, Shoaib Akhtar is gone, he looks to the heavens and the Australians celebrate yet again. Well, another wicked, good piece of bowling here from Andrew Pickle. Caught, well, probably almost the shoulder of the bat here. Simple catch. Pickle goes a touch wide, well, it wasn't the shoulder of the bat, but a very simple catch there through to Gilchrist. And another rattle for the Australians. Shoaib out for one, 49 for eight. Now, there's another shout. That's Pad First out. I think it's a good call. I think that's right. It was certainly Pad First. Waka Yunus can't believe it. It was bat after the pad. He's got to go. The bat, I'm sure, hits the foot or the pad. And if he's missed this one, well, he is in trouble because he's given him out. But let's have a little look here. It's always looking middle stump there, isn't it? Well, it's hit the pad and then the bat. And there's the shaded stumps there behind. That's not going to miss. 50 for nine. Now that's Baldy. He was searching for the Yorker. Beautifully set up then by Brett Lee. So that is the end of an extraordinary innings for Pakistan. The lowest ever in test cricket for Pakistan. Eclipsing that 62 in Perth, made off just 31.5 overs. But earlier on in this over, Bradley tried a yorker, but turned out to be a half volley driven by Danish Canaria for a couple. But on this occasion, it was spot on. No chance for Danish Canaria to dug it out. What a way to finish the innings. Getting grip of the tailander, bowled him out. Danish Canaria is walking back after scoring eight runs. Pakistan has been bundled out for 59 runs in their first innings of the second test match at Sharjah. Little tentative, great save. Now this could be a run out, this will be a run out. What a terrible start to this innings. The old cricket adage, you never run on a misfield. They were watching the ball. A fantastic save by Ponting in the covers. McGrath got back. He took the throw, took the bails off. And unfortunately, a dreadful start for Pakistan. Well, sad way to get your pair, isn't it? Without facing a delivery, when you're looking to save the pair, a very sad way to go get out. That was pushed, and Imran Azir, after playing that delivery he was looking for a run and after taking few paces when he realized the ball was stopped he called for no and I'm afraid that was too late and the Pakistanis they have once again lost their first wicket without a run on the board you're always working hard against him and I suppose that's why he's only five wickets shy of 400 test wickets look at that average remarkable under 22 That's gone. Up goes the finger. Glenn McGrath has struck. Another naught. Pakistan once again are in dire straits here at 13 for two. Well, that's a biggie for Australia. That is a top wicket for him. Glenn McGrath just getting one to jag back. Yunus Khan just wandering in front of the stumps. There he goes across there. Hits right on the area of off stump. Well, it's going to hit middle and leg, that one there. He's back, caught him on the crease. It's not going to go over the top. There's the shadow of the stumps coming through. So Eunice Khan, a huge wicket there for Australia. 13 for two. Fifteen wickets. That's uh, tremendous stuff. Great average and best of seven for 94. Yeah. In Colombo. <coughs> First innings there. Ah! Matt and fair edge and taken by the keeper. Imran Nazir is walking back and Shane Warne has struck. Lovely spin away from the bat and Imran Nazir all at sea. Well, that's his 16th wicket in the series. Picking up the outside edge of the bat of Imran Nazir. Had a let off a couple of overs ago, but no mistake on this occasion by Adam Gilchrist. Great shot there, the Revolutions, as the ball was delivered down. Bit of turn, always vulnerable outside that off stump was Imran Nazir. So he's out for 16 and Pakistan 32 for 3.
That's straight down the throat of Steve Waugh. Miss Bowl Hunt has been picked up by Andy Bickle once again. A loose shot and paying the price here. Pakistan, four wickets down for 34. Well, this inning starting to fall apart too. Sharp catch by Steve Waugh. This is pretty well struck. Was wide, hit right in the middle of the bat. And Steve Waugh, the body, the hands right behind it. No way no one was that going to escape. So Andrew, Andy Bickle picking up Misbah Ulhaq. Caught in the covers by Steve Waugh for 12. Pakistan, 34 for 4. A little slower as well. Edge and a great catch. Mark Waugh has picked up a beauty. That is sensational stuff. What an absolute gem by Mark Waugh. That's the Mark Waugh that we see in the slip cordon, not what we saw in Colombo. This is an absolute beauty. Splitting the difference, going across, grabbing it virtually in the left hand. It was practically past him. Not a great deal of reaction from Shane Warne, and that is a magnificent catch by Mark Warp off the bowling of Andy Bickle. Drinks coming out into the ground, Latif out for naught. Pakistan, 36 for 5. There's uh, an opportunity of a batsman running down the track and launching. Gone. Easy catch. Mark Warren in the game again, so uh, that's really good bowling. Lovely bowling again from Shane Warren. Nice pace through the air, a little bit of drift, and that big turn. Once again, worked out the batsman very well, Shane Warren. Well, Preston Iqbal has scored quite a few runs on the offside in the first test match. No runs for him in this test match on the offside. He had to do something different. He was looking to work the ball on the onside against a turn, getting the big edge and easy cast for Mark Waugh. Pakistan losing their sixth wicket, and that's off Faisal Iqbal. He scored seven runs. 50 for six, Pakistan now. Edge and gone. Oh, gone eventually. Wow, that just popped out, out of the gloves of Adam Gilchrist, and uh, Shane Warne was in the right place at the right time. Well, that's a bonus in Test Match cricket for Shane Warne. Adam Gilchrist getting the gloves. Ball bouncing, and Shane Warne reacted very well and picked up that one gladly, and he's obliged. Seventh wicket has fallen. Saklan Mustak. He's walking back, nine runs is his personal score, 52 for seven. Just tossed it up and out, simple as that. Steve was the catcher, big smile on the face of uh, Shane Warne, that's not surprising, that was elementary. But this is the reason why Shane Warne tossed the ball high up in the air. He was enticing the batsman into playing such a stroke. And Shrey Bakhtar looking uh, to hit the ball towards mid-off, angle the bat, getting the healthy edge, the ball scooped up in the air. And Steve Waugh doing the rest. Well, that's the eighth wicket, which has just fallen in the Pakistani second innings. And that's off Shrey Bakhtar. He's walking back after scoring two. Fifth McGrath's deep at uh, long off. Ah! Now there's McShard, it's, it's gone. He's given him, that's it, it's all over. Australia have done this wonderfully. Abdul Razak, of course, will not be batting. So that is a great performance. A big smile on the face of Steve Waugh. They've won this test well inside two days. Unbelievable stuff. Pakistan have simply been blown away. Well, appalling performance by the Pakistani team in this test match. A look at the celebrations. Easy victory after having played a very tense game at Colombo. These Australians, they have outclassed Pakistan in every department of the of this game. And Wakar Yunus was the eighth wicket for Shane Warne. In this test match, a bit of souvenirs, those stumps for...